winter when all the snow drops otherwise everything's going to be covered and you won't know where anything is so um i never did show the, the building of that garage or the green uh, garden shed garden shed and then off of the front is going to be a greenhouse so i'll do a little video on on uh, the end of that but anyway um we have to get ready for the greenhouse post to go in out front of that so i can drill holes and put those posts in find them and all that stuff uh, we're going to do tamarack trees but anyway we got to clean up all this lumber so we have all this stuff from putting the siding on the board and batten so we got to clean up the stuff we're not using and that's going to become kindling uh, move the rest of the good wood over to these piles get this all out of the way because this is where we back up trailers and stuff and our snow plow is snow plow buried is, yeah we got to get to that so we got to move this metal roofing again they screwed up the metal roofing they didn't bend it right so this is the stuff that's bad but we're going to use for our four car garage that i'm going to build out of tamarack trees and stuff but uh so we're going to reuse this this is um um hidden fastener but we're going to use it as like exposed fastener um because it's all really good metal and there's tons of it there's probably three thousand dollars worth of metal roofing there so but we got to move it so we're going to move that over there get it covered so when it does snow on it it, it won't be uh we won't have to scrape it off to put it on the uh the uh, garage and i have to put the posts in for the garage before winter before so i have a winter project to do so we have to get that done because you're not going to be putting posts in the ground um when the ground freezes so we have to do that in the next couple weeks but and it's the middle this. of we gotta take that wood we gotta put it on top of this we gotta cover it up so it's still good we gotta move the uh the snow blower we have to cover up this wood or consolidate it we could probably consolidate those two get that covered up figure out what wood i have to mill what's already done like this stuff is for uh the garage so i have to get that in an area and, and figure out what it is again because it's been months last spring since i did it so we're moving wood right now to get it out of the way it's just a big long process so i guess that's what we're doing today well we're middle of october and we're lucky because it's going to be 60s for the next week yeah beats doing it usually every year we always are doing it late and the snow and ice is coming down right so today hopefully we get most of it moved with the tractor and then i can start doing figuring out what holes i'm going to put in the ground for the garden shed and the garage So I had my uh, sawmill set up here last spring. So these are a bunch of cutoffs and lumber from the house. Where, you know, I guess I'm not very organized. I'm just trying to keep on with the project. So I just toss stuff out of the way, you know. But that's what that's become, just a junk pile of stuff. So we're separating it now. 
trying to get to the logs underneath so we can move those for the winter. They've been there for over a year now. Um, this is gonna be milled up into the rest of the window boxes for the inside of the house. And also, I think we're not gonna have enough wood for the inside of the house. We still have two layers over here, which this is what we used for the entire outside of the house. Um, th those stacks right there were separated by, by pallets. Um, so the air could flow in between each row and they were stacked about that high and they were stacked all the way to the end of this post. So <clears throat> we used all that and now we have this left and uh, what is it? Two more stacks on that side and then all this. So I don't think it's going to be enough. We could dip into this, which was for the sauna that we cut eight years ago. Um, Cause that's all white pine too. So, but that wasn't treated with borax. All this stuff was. So that's why we have it separated with this conglomeration. Um, stacking all this stuff and keeping it separated um, as we did. If you'll see one other video a long time ago, we actually had to unstack this entire pile because we, we did it too tight and uh, there was moisture and it was starting to mold and stuff. We might have to use uh, like two of those logs to supplement the uh, cordwood for the inner, which it wouldn't be dry because it's fall. I'm not gonna get to it till winter time bucking it up and it won't be, wouldn't be dry for late next summer because obviously we would use this first for the early and mid part of the summer for the inside wall, but that would still not be dry. So um, I don't know, we might not finish an inner wall or two, or I should cut this and bring it into the house and let it dry inside um, the house because we will be using the masonry heater um, to heat this this winter. So that would kind of um, have a jump start on drying that wood. But anyway. It's a mess with all these projects going on. I separate the kindling from lumber we can use, from lumber I might, long ones that I might use for rafters for the garage. Regular store-bought lumber. Siding. All kinds of stuff. And then all our scrap from the house I think is gonna go here. <laughs> 